So, this week I'll be teaching you about how to use Substance Painter. Now, if you don't know what Substance is, it's the world leading 3D texturing and painting software. No, this is not a sponsored video, I just really like the software. And this is gonna be a pretty short series because Substance is so intuitive and good at what it does that it's pretty straightforward and simple. Before we go in though, I wanted to talk about why skills like this are still good to have, even though software like this will very likely be automated by AI in the future. There are both short-term reasons and long-term reasons, but let's talk about the short term first. Within the next year, we will likely see the beginning of text to 3D model generating software, and it's very likely that the 3D AI will have similar limitations to their 2D counterparts for the first few years. Now in 2D, if you do not have Photoshop skills to manually fix the hands or redraw the face or make all the micro adjustments that you want, then essentially you're because the only other option is to keep generating and pray to God that the AI will one day give you the perfect design that you are imagining. And this could take hours, it could take days, or in some cases, it's personally even taken me weeks. And the 3D equivalent of that is gonna be something like, you have an idea for a beautiful fantasy princess character and you type that in, press enter, and it might give you something close to what you're imagining, but just like with 2D AI, it's very likely that her hair might be too short or the wrong color, or the armor on the shoulder is the wrong shape. Very often there are details in your mind that don't line up exactly with the designs that the AI gives you. And just like in 2D, if you don't know how to manually fix or make these adjustments to your characters in 3D manually, again, you're fucked. Because your only other option will be to re-roll the generations until you get lucky and finally get exactly what you want. But if you even have basic 3D skills to manually make these kind of adjustments, you are no longer at the mercy of the machine to get what you want. You can generate something that's vaguely close and then spend the next 15 to 30 minutes perfecting it to get exactly what you want while everyone else is wasting their time praying that the AI reads their minds. So that's the short term reason why you would want to learn these skills. Now the long term reason applies after we reach a point in society when AI has become personalized to you. The more you work with AI, the more it learns what you like, and future systems will train themselves to get better at showing you exactly what you want. By this point in time, it's very likely that everything in society will be automated. At this point, AIs will be better at driving trucks, construction, military, programming, science, research, and art than any human could ever hope to be. And human art will become a luxury brand. Human-made art and design will become a very rare and extremely expensive commodity that only a select few people on the planet will likely have the skills to create. For this reason, human-made art will become more valuable than it's ever been before. And you will be one of the few people left that is still able to create these priceless artifacts that will remind people of a time long ago when the majority of the designs were still human. So so those are the main reasons that I think you should still learn to manually control 3D skills by hand. But anyway, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.